Hi, my name is Andrew Carlson. I'm an application engineer here at Electromatic Products in Farmington Hills, Michigan. The put and get instruction blocks are an easy method of peer-to-peer -peer communication, and today I will be guiding you through the use of the put block to communicate between two 1200 PLCs. This method will also work with the 1200 and the 1500 PLCs. Make a CPU2 project in TIA Portal. This project will be the configuration for the receiving end of the put instruction. Now open Online Access, select your network interface card, and select CPU2. We are going to configure the network settings. Assign an IP address and subnet mask to the CPU. Now configure the device with a Profinet device name. Now add a new device and select the PLC that you are configuring. Here we select an unspecified CPU and are going to use Portal to detect the device and firmware version. Do this by selecting the detect link underneath the rack. Once the device is detected, right click the PLC folder and go down to properties. Under the Protection and Security tab, we are checking to see if put-get communication is allowed. Make sure this box is checked. Now create a new data block. This is the data block that we will be pointing to in the put instruction later on. Here we are going to add a receive value bool tag. Now right click the DB, go to properties, and under attributes, make sure optimized block access is not selected. You may now save, compile, and download to the device. For our example of using the put block, we'll make a new project in TIA Portal. To find the appropriate CPU, select your network interface card and update accessible devices. From here, select your PLC and go to Online and Diagnostics. Next up, we'll be configuring the IP address of CPU1. When doing this, ensure both CPUs are in the same subnet, otherwise they won't be able to communicate. We are also going to assign a Profinet device name. Under the project tree, click Add New Device and select your Siemens PLC. In this case we are using a 1200, but this tutorial also applies to the 1500 series. It is very important that the firmware version matches the hardware. Click Devices and Networks, right click the PLC and add it to the subnet. You will see a Profinet network appear. Now open Program Blocks under PLC1 and create a new data block for the Put Block Data Tags. In our new data block, create three tags with the bool data type and another tag with the word data type. These will be used later to configure the put block. 
Now create a second data block. Add a new boolean tag. This will be the value we write to PLC2. In this case, we're going to make the start value true. Now open OB1. Open the S7 folder under the communication dropdown tab. Then drag a put block onto network 1. Begin configuring the put block by placing our newly created tags onto the corresponding block I.O. For the address 1 input, we are going to create a pointer that points to our data block in CPU 2. This is where our boolean value will be stored. In this case, we are pointing to position 0 in DB0. Now select the blue toolbox in the put block. Change the partner connection parameter to be an unspecified CPU. Now enter the IP address of CPU2. This will create an S7 connection between the two CPUs. You may now save the project, compile, and download to CPU1. To send data to CPU2, we are going to create a watch table. This watch table will be used to change the state of the start contact for the put block. The put block requires a positive edge to begin sending the data. This is done by modifying the value to true. Here in the CPU2 project, we can see that the receive value has changed to true. If you have additional questions would like to see more instructional videos, please call us, visit our website, or check in with our social media accounts for the most up-to-date content.